Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete Azure web app using Terraform. I have logged into the Azure portal. So we are going to create the web app. Let's go and see whether do we have any existing web app. So there is no web app. Now let us review the Terraform documentation on creating how to create a Linux web app. So we need to add the provider information and then we need to create a resource group and the Azure service plan and then the Azure Linux web app. So these are the modules which we need to add in a Terraform configuration file. I am going to use Visual Studio code editor for adding my Terraform configuration files. Already I have created a service principle and I have taken all the necessary credentials which are needed by Terraform to talk to Azure and create the resources. I have added all these informations as part of the provider module here. You can refer to my earlier video on creating a service plan to see how to do an app registration and create the necessary credentials. So now let's go and create the main.tf file where I am going to add the necessary resource blocks for creating the resource group, service plan and the Linux web app. So first let me add the resource group. So we'll give it as a name as web group. Then let's give the name of the resource group which we wanted to create as a web app group and the location We'll give it as East US. Now let's add the next resource, which is the service plan, Azure RM service plan. Let's give it a name, web service plan. We need to give the name, we'll give the web app plan, and then the location, East US. To give the resource group name dot name then we need to give the os type so we are going to use linux then we need to give this queue name so which is going to be f1 we are going to use the free tire so i have added the resource block for creating the service plan so now let's add the resource block for creating the linux web app the name is web app and the name we need to give the name very unique name so let's add some numbers to it then we'll give the location then the resource group name then we need to give the service plan id dot id now let us add the site config. So we need to add the always on to be false. The reason is we are going to use the free tire. Now let's save the changes. Let's do a Terraform in it. It's installing the HashiCorp Azure RM provider version 3.5.1.0. So Terraform init is successful. Let's do a Terraform format to format the files. So all the fi files are already formatted. So that's why we don't see anything. Now let's do a Terraform validate to validate the configuration. The configuration is valid. So now let's execute a Terraform plan. So the Terraform plan actually creates a, an execution plan which provides the information on what all the resources will be created when you do a Terraform apply. Here it says it's going to create a web app, Linux web app and the resource group and the web service plan. So here plan it says three resources, three to add which means it is going to add three resources. Now let's do a Terraform apply. The Terraform apply also creates execution plan and it asks for the approval. Let's provide the approval. So it is creating the resource group. It has successfully created the resource group. Now it is creating the service plan. So it has successfully created the service plan. So now it is creating the Linux web app. 
so the web have has been successfully created let's go and review that in the azure portal app services let's refresh we can see the web app has been successfully deployed and we can get the url here let's copy it to the clipboard and then launch it so we can see that default node.js application is up and running now let us go and delete the resources what we created using terraform for deleting the resources we need to use the command terraform destroy terraform uses the tf state file so where it has the information about the existing environment so it uses that information to compare with the new configuration and then creates a plan indicating whether it is going to delete create or update or replace the existing configuration so now Terraform destroy is also going to create an execution plan based on the existing environment configuration and the new configuration. It has created the execution plan. So and clearly we can see we have executed Terraform destroy. So it is going to remove, delete all the resources. So you can see it is going to uh, delete the web app. Then it is going to delete the resource group and the service plan. And it is asking for the approval so it says plan is 0 to add 0 to change and 3 to destroy so let's provide the approval so it is destroying the web application so it has successfully destroyed the web app now when successfully completed the service plan deletion now it is destroying the resource group so the destroy is complete we can see resources 3 destroyed now let's go and validate that in the azure portal let's go to the app services refresh so we can see the web app no longer exists here let's check all the resources so again here we see there is no resource exist let's go to the home click resource groups and we confirm the resource group which we created has been deleted in this demo we have seen how to create and delete an azure web app using Terraform. Thanks for watching the demo.